welcome to my youtube channel i'm so excited to have you here like i'm really very excited to have you here this is my first video ever and i'm going to be showing us a tutorial of how i did the jasper.ai um, um, hero section prototype interaction so um it was very um straight to the point using variants and auto layout and after delay and i was able to get that so if you're joining me for the first time which i know you are because this is my first video i think you should subscribe because i'm going to be posting more tutorials and more content for you designers so yeah i did the just part of ai hero section and i was able to get this done and also this area um, and it was quite straight to the point so i'm going to be showing us how i was able to do this uh the video it's just a feature by um, Figma. It's no um, additional. Um, I did no additional thing there. Just to add video, just like you add images. But I think it's only open to pro version of Figma, which is what I'm using. So let's jump into our design. I've copied the design into another Figma board, and I have every of those um, markets, every of those copies listed here, typed already. So I'm going to tell you how we can do this to work like. It is here right now all right so first things first we want to we want to take write this out they were all written together no like not separately they were written together so once you're done with this the first thing you want to do is make it create a frame from this so once you create a frame right you clip your content so mark make sure your clip content is marked and then you can drag your frame to your first write-up, which is market copy. So once that is done, what you want to do next is duplicate uh, this frame. All right, duplicate this frame, and then click twice and drag. Up. So you drag to the second one, right, and then duplicate it again. And then click twice and then drag to the third one so you do this consistently until you are done with all the content so i'm just going to fast forward this area So once you're done with that, next thing you want to do is create component set. So you highlight all your frames and then create a component set. So once you create a component set, every other frame becomes um, one component, right? So next few thing you want to do is go to your prototype, select this, and then link it to the next one in your prototype option use after today change this to uh, 600 change it to smart animate and make this 500 right or make this 300 make this 500 so do the same thing for this one after today 300 500, same thing for this one. So now we've gotten to the end of um, the content, the component here. Now this part is very tricky. If you use the same settings for this art and image, what happens is it's going to scroll back up to marketing copy. So what I do is but to type this one back to the beginning so you can have consistent flow. Now this is also after delay. This one becomes still 300, right? Although this one becomes one. So I can put that on one millisecond and change my smart animate to dissolve. So dissolve 
and uh, I can change this to 50. If it doesn't work, we can always modify it. I can change it to 10. So what? Okay, let me change it to 100 and leave this on one. So what happens is when it gets to this place, it doesn't screw, it just changes back to this. So in order to do this, we have to count, we have to um, delete this part of this vital. So we have to delete this part, bring this down and uh, just there yeah, like so. Then what we need to do is go to assets and then drag this to here. Oh wow. Okay, yes, it fits. Drag this to here, fit it perfectly. And then now let's see what we have. Go to type to see what we have. All right, so that's that's working perfectly. So what you do is when you're looking at it, allow it to scroll to the end. So you see where most of um, the contents are not aligned horizontally, centered, and you know where you want to uh, fix up and get done. So yeah, now we are done with that. Let's move over to the next one. This is the logo scrolling of the um, um, prototype. So, all I needed to do was just get the logos and I was able to get logo from your website and then arrange each of them to be like this. So next thing I want to highlight all and I'll create an auto layout, right? I'm going to create an auto layout and then create a frame as well. So I have a frame inside the frame. So once that is done, I want to clip content just like we did from the previous and reduce this to here so I can get the perfect size for my scrolling. So once that is done, click on my frame, and I duplicate. So once I duplicate, as usual, what we do, click twice and then move the logos. So depending on how you want to move your logo, little by little, or you want to scroll the whole thing, it's your option. So I'm just going to move this a little, duplicate this frame again, click twice. Please always click out before you click twice. Yeah. And then move this guy into again. And click out, get my frame. So I'm just going to repeat this process over and over to get what we want. Now I'm done with all these things, um, I'm just going to highlight all of them and same way we did that, create the component set. And then next we want to do is our prototype. Uh, back to that. Do is to set our prototype. So um, just like we did for the first copy, we're going to click here, we'll type this to the next one and then after delay. But we are going to use two milliseconds and leave this on 500 and leave this on smart animate. So we do the same thing here as well. So I'm just going to fast forward this till I'm done. So it's just two milliseconds. You can use one if one works for you. And that is that. This end, which is the same thing we did for that one, it will not have it will not be the same. It will just scroll back. So we take this back to this and use after delay. We'll still use two milliseconds here, but on this ease out, we are going to be using one millisecond. And then let's 
test this. I I I love testing my stuff, but um, I think we should just use this one time without I try doing the test. So I'm going to click on assets just like we did for the previous. And I'm going to drag this guy down to this place. So yeah, I'm done doing that. Okay, now let's prototype the whole thing and see how it comes out. And see, it's working perfectly. So this is changing, this is scrolling. When it gets to the end, it starts all over. You can likewise make this. Let's let's use one millisecond and see what happens to that. I'm just going to change everything to one millisecond. Except for this guy here. So this guy remains okay. Still one millisecond. So let's see what happens. See, it's faster. So it still works. So yeah, that is how to get this done on. Female. So if you have any question, you can just drop a comment. Please once again like, um, subscribe and share this content to as many people as you can. Thank you so much and see you next time.